In this video, I will show you how you can make your own personalized apron from scratch. If you would like to add a certain font to your apron instead of freehanding the personalization, you'll probably learn a thing or two from this video. And as long as you follow each and every one of my instructions step by step, these aprons will make great gifts for friends and loved ones. In order to do this, you need the following items, fabric markers, a light up tracing table, and a printout of what font you want to use for your apron. And here is the product that we're going to be using tonight, a Port Authority Easy Care Extra Long Apron. Perfect for my recipient, if I do say so myself. Okay, let's begin. The first thing you have to do is make sure you have a computer on you. So, first thing you do is print up your font. In this case, we're going to use Curls MT, and then place it on your tracing table, followed by the apron, like so. Typically, when I make these aprons, I always put the personalization front and center, but I had to stick it slightly below because we're going to add another piece of artwork above the personalization. Usually I like to stick the edges of the apron underneath the tracer so it stays nice and still, but that may or may not help so much, so it's probably recommended you use masking or scotch tape to keep the apron in place. Also, the font, if possible, so it doesn't move around while you're working. Alrighty then, now it's time to switch on that tracing table, break out those fabric markers, and start personalizing our apron. Now pay close attention because you want to make sure that the font is as accurate as possible when you replicate it from the printout onto the apron. See that? When you're tracing in these fonts, they have to look as accurate as possible. And now we have our D. And then we'll do the same thing for the other three. But at the same time, if you'd like, feel free to add in some 3D effects to it. Alrighty, we've got our O. Now we're going to add in the last two, starting with the M. Okay, we got our M, and last but not least comes the I.
beautiful. Look at it now. Now let's add some 3D effects to the personalization before we add that additional bit of artwork onto the apron. And now we add the finishing touch. Beautiful. That looks so nice. And now we have to slide the apron off the personalization just a little bit to add the additional artwork to it. And that additional artwork is a paint palette because my intended recipient is an art therapist. I figure, well, anybody who loves art Anybody who loves to cook, they are well worthy of being a proud owner of my personalized goods. Always feel free to add any additional artwork to your apron if possible after you've added the personalization. I tell you, it's going to look so beautiful once I give it to her. Just look at it, folks. This apron looks so beautiful, and I cannot wait to give it to my recipient. However, before I do so, it never hurts every once in a while to add additional coatings of ink to your artwork from time to time. So I think I'll touch up the paint palette just a little bit.
And now I add the finishing touches to it. And it is done. Just look at it. This apron looks so beautiful and my recipient is going to love it. I'm not kidding you. You follow the steps shown in this video. This is something you can do at home. And again, these aprons make excellent gifts for friends and loved ones. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to see what I have in store next. Also, feel free to drop me some fan mail. Stay tuned!